Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to talk to you about how you can become a cybersecurity analyst without college. So this video is sort of a follow up from my previous how to become a whatever without college video. And um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting one because cybersecurity analysts sort of range from entry level to the end of time type thing. So it's sort of something that starts at the beginning and goes all the way to the end. So it's, it's a tricky one to talk about. The other thing is that employers are now looking more and more towards recruiting people who have a degree already. So that is definitely worth keeping in mind. Um, however, if you're in a position to apply for a job that doesn't require any university, this is sort of the way to go about it. So step one, get a Comp TIA Security Plus certification. This certification is pretty broad and covers everything that an analyst, at least at the entry level, is going to use. It's going to get you familiar with a whole bunch of terminology within cybersecurity and it gives you a really good general feel of how to get started and get going as an analyst. The cheapest course I could find for this is on the CompTIA website itself. So you can do the course and then get a certificate or token to do the certificate on their website, which then you can go through and do that certification. Once you have this certification, there's another two that I would recommend and they are the CompTIA Network Plus and the CompTIA Linux Plus. Now, a lot of people say the Linux Plus isn't really necessary, but I think it's useful to have. If you can bundle the three together, so the Security Plus, Linux Plus, and Network Plus all together, you should be able to get a pretty good understanding of what's required as an analyst or engineer in cybersecurity. Now, unfortunately, having these three certifications is not enough you do definitely need experience as well. So I have done a few videos on how to get experience, but I'll say it again here. The easiest way to get experience is to apply as a help desk officer at a large corporation or to apply as a like help desk or a level one, level two engineer or support engineer at a managed service provider or MSP. MSPs are great because they throw so much different work at you that's on a broad different spectrum of uh, IT tasks. So you're gonna be doing things from networking to systems administration to your basic password resets, the whole lot. You'll learn how to talk to people really well, really quick. It's usually a bit of a baptism by fire, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's gonna throw you straight in the deep end and you're gonna find out if you like doing that sort of work or not real quick. The sort of experience that's required, at least what they say is required for an analyst position is anywhere between four to eight years of experience. And I can tell you now that that is complete bullshit. <laughs> Usually they're after someone with as much experience as possible and when HR gets that note, they just put in some stupid number thinking that people have been in these roles for a very long time. And that's, it's just not the truth and it never occurs like that. Most people who are getting these jobs actually only have one or two years experience in IT prior to getting these jobs. And I know that might sound a little bit controversial, but it's true. There's so much of a gap in the industry at the moment where people are uh, looking to employ as many cybersecurity professionals as possible, and then eventually thin them out a little bit when they find out who's good and who's not. Well, they're taking on pretty much everyone and anyone with any IT experience. And if you have certifications to back yourself up, especially like a, a Security Plus, Linux Plus, and uh, Network Plus, you're absolutely gold. You're gonna be in there pretty quick and uh, it's, it's only a few years worth of study and job experience. So if you think about it, you're doing like one year of study to do your Security Plus and Network Plus and Linux Plus. And then after that you do one or two years of working, maybe a few more, maybe three years of working at an MSP or, or on a help desk team or maybe you move up within there to a network admin or network engineer or maybe even a systems administrator, who knows. But once you have that experience, you can then move across into the entry level cybersecurity positions. When they say entry level, they're usually requiring prior experience in IT because they don't wanna just employ someone when the competition is usually other people moving from other areas of IT, like I just said, sysadmin or network engineers, into cybersecurity. And a lot of people are doing that at the moment because there's more money, basically. So to summarize on it, basically what you need is a 
CompTIA Security Plus, a CompTIA Linux Plus, and a CompTIA Network Plus, as well as two to three years experience in the field doing either help desk, MSP work, sysadmin, or network engineering. And who knows, maybe you actually really enjoy those positions and never end up getting to cybersecurity analyst and that's absolutely fine. It's it's not a race to the end or, or whatever. You just work at your own pace through these different levels of IT and different uh, job roles to get to where you want to go. And it, things might change and they probably will over the next few years on what your goals are personally anyway. So as always, if you liked this video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any other recommendations for things to maybe learn or do as part of becoming a cybersecurity analyst. Uh, maybe you're already a cybersecurity analyst and you uh, just got into the job. Comment below, let me know how you got there and, and what sort of certifications you have. And uh, please do subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you later.